My husband was an extraordinary leader. He was amazing. Oh, gosh. I mean, he did everything completely, fully. He loved unconditionally. He led his soldiers like, uh, like no one else. I mean, they, I, I still to this day hear stories from those that, uh, that he led about what he inspired in them, how he changed their lives. You know, I have people coming up to me saying, like, he was like a brother to me, he was like a father to me. And uh, for his family, he, he was everything. To our girls, they felt so supported and, and just, like, they were the only people that existed in the whole wide world. And I, I sure felt that way. I mean, we were so completely connected in every way. We couldn't be apart right after her husband passed away in a plane crash uh, in Alaska. It was a training uh, mission and, and uh, their plane went down. And she realized at that time there really wasn't an organization that could step in and or was there to help people with that really difficult time in their life and to help navigate that. And that it was inspiration for her. So TAPS grew out of that. It's an amazing, amazing organization. You know, Bonnie, it's awesome. You know, when she lost her husband, Tom, 25 or 26 years ago, she had no place to turn. It took a lot of time to come to the understanding when those we love die physically, they don't stop loving us. That, that love transcends this physical death, that it continues to inspire us, that it lives in our hearts, uh, that it, um, it guides us through the rest of our lives. It's woven into the fabric of who we will become in their honor as their living legacy. I was just touched by her story and it really moved and you look around the room and there was, a, you know, a thousand other people in there just like her. And so I looked at Frank and just kind of had that, that light bulb went off, you know, and I said, I said, love lives on. And he goes, yeah. So we got up, went to the bathroom and uh, I had it in my head and we were in the bathroom and I recorded it on my phone and he goes, yeah, put that on your phone. So I recorded it. in my hotel that night. The, the idea of Love Lives On and uh, Frank Myers, Jimmy Nichols, and myself wrote the song, wrote Bonnie's story. So Bonnie, are you ready for this? Because this is your song. Oof. This is for the memory of your husband. Oh. And this is going to be the song that I think changes everything. We Thank can't you. wait. Love Lives On. Thank you. Love lives on every day, every night, in our hearts, in our minds, I can know. Hearing Love Lives On for the first time was, it was amazing. It was beyond anything that I expected or imagined. You know, having a song um, of this caliber written about something so personal, a little overwhelming. Uh, but to sit there with Frank and Jimmy and know how much they put into this, how much of themselves, uh, I just had faith. And I always like to say my husband is, is right here with me. He's certainly in my heart. So I think he, he probably had a hand in it too. The whole goal all along was to try to take our gift of music and infuse it with stories of these incredible survivors and find a way to, uh, you know, let their memories of their loved ones live on. This project, this, this album, with these incredible artists, with these gifted songwriters, and with these beautiful families is our chance to tell the story of service and sacrifice in our military. But it's also a chance to inspire everyone. Grief touches all of us and to know that it is about the love. It is never just about the loss.